Okay, can you sit down for a sec? You ready for this video? Ready? Ready? Okay. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. Me and Ryder are in the studio today, and we have a completely full kiln that we're gonna unload. You ready? Ryder is saying so many words that I thought it'd be fun to have him be in the video and explain what he likes about the pots. He just loves to hang out in the studio with me and like run around the middle table. This is literally what Ryder's doing the whole time. Round and round we go. Yep. All right, back to the kiln and loading. So oftentimes we'll get out here really early in the morning before it easies up and start doing a little pottery. So this kiln has a bunch of different stuff in it. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle to keep him in this video, but once we start unloading pots, I think it'll work. Um, I wanna say shout out to our sponsor of this video, Mako Colors. All the pots in here are finished with Mako glazes, and uh, then we're gonna even load a bunch more pots into the kiln that are all a bunch of new Mako colors, too. So, shout out to the sponsor, Mako. Check them out in the link in the description below. I'm super excited for my first ever workshops I'm doing. Mako, I'm going down to Ohio in November to do those. So, all right, Ryder, are you ready to unload this kiln? Can you tell them? I Say, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. First things we got, bowl, Norse blue, with some carving around the end. Ryder's playing with the computer. And mug, pretty sweet mug. Ryder, you gotta come, come show the camera, like, look at that. What do you think of that, Ryder? Very cool. Yeah. Ryder, cool. Ryder, is it hot? Is it hot? No. Nope. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's hot. That's his new favorite word is no. All right, what do we got here? We got a couple marbled, marbled pieces. Piece. Piece, yeah. Can you say pot? Pot. 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 Can you say clay? Pace. Clay. Clay. You see, you sit. Do you wanna sit? Okay, so these are some winter wood cups. Those turned out super nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Some more winter wood cups. Chances of Ryder breaking something during this video. I'd give it, it's 50-50. Yep. It's hot, yeah. <laughs> All right, should we keep unloading? All right, here, I'll set you down. You wanna do it relaxed? Oh, this is sweet. And then, so this is that um, I had a video about these, this wood grain texture. So that's cool, with one of those washes in there, it looks like wood. And then here is another big bowl. Actually, it's not that big, it's like kind of a medium-sized bowl. Some winter wood and midnight rain little plates. Plate! <laughs> Ryder just said plate. There you go. Plate. Those are turned out very cool. I like them. What? Plate. Plate. Do you want to come here, Ryder, and show and tell the camera what you think? Nope. Nope. Whoa! What is that? Here's a new one. Oh, this is. Well, first of all, look at that. It's yeah, hot. Yeah, it's hot. What do you think? So this is um. Lavender mist with, uh, what is it? Lavender mist with sandstone on top. And I did this, I got this um, from Old Forge Creations. He does this where he does those little dimples. Really, really cool. Ryder, can you say sweet? Okay, next things we have are these bowls. And these are, so this is Midnight Rain with a little bit of Fool's gold on top, I think. Or actually, this one might be the, um, I did one with the sandstone just to test it. But this is really very nice. I like it. So there's a set of a bunch of those. And that gets really metallic-y down at the bottom, if you can see that, that's cool. Here we go, another one of these plates. Norse blue, whoo, that is super cool. Super cool. 
So we got, here's a few more of these bowls. This is interesting. This has happened twice now. Where I've gotten, there's a, see that crack right there? This has happened twice now, and that very has very rarely happened to me. I'm not sure why that's happening. And then this is what I was, oh, this is probably what I was most excited for, is these two different new kind of mugs. So this is the lavender mist with sandstone on top. And then this is the speckled plum with sandstone. I have just these straight sandstone cups, twisted cups. Those are really cool. And then I have just more winter wood cups. Another one of those wood grain. Woo! All right, buddy. It's 84 degrees in here. Holy hot. More twisted sandstone. More of that speckled plum. Those are cool. Hopefully you can see them a little bit better when I put these those pictures in. And then winter wood cups and lavender mist with sandstone on top. Okay, Ryder, come here. Let's finish this video. Ooh, there goes my phone. All right, you wanna look at the camera? What happened in this kiln? That big sandstone bowl broke in the middle. Why did that happen? Looks kind of like an S crack, could have been. Maybe I just left a little too much water in there. Maybe I didn't compress it enough or have it be even. Maybe it didn't dry very even. But I'm super pumped on this like purple lavender mist. Super cool. Yeah, do you see? And uh, it's really difficult to unload a kiln with a two-year-old and film it. And whew, it's so hot in here. Oh, I'm sweating. Holy hot. It's hot when you have, there's two kilns running in there. One, I had just finished a bisque and then the glaze one. Oh, I'll show you what we're gonna be doing for the next glaze. Okay, so there's all what we just unloaded. And then this is all stuff that we're loading into the kiln now, since that's empty. So this is break blue glass, break lean glass. This is blue hydrangea. These are copper ore over sandstone, Aurora green plates. So then this will all go into here. And then this is all full too. So this is at 600 degrees and that's all full of bisque. What are you doing over here, bud? Can you come finish this video with me? All right, friends. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Nana's here. Like, share, comment, all the things. See you in the next video. Ready? Cover it up, Ryder. And I think you have a dirty diaper, so we're gonna have to go change that.